So when it comes to our training, we all want to optimize it so that it's fun and that we do the things that will improve us the most in the shortest amount of time, right? We can all agree that hard work is necessary for us to reach our goals. But what if I told you that there's a rule that you can start to follow that I learned about a few years ago and have been using it ever since? The very same rule that took Cristiano Ronaldo from a player with potential into a world-class superstar. And it's something that you can start using today. Have you ever heard of René Mullenstein? René is a former Dutch footballer, and more importantly in the context of this video, he was an integral part of Sir Alex Ferguson's former coaching staff. In an interview with The Telegraph, he revealed the exact training routine he went through with Cristiano Ronaldo at the start of 2007. A part of that routine was a rule that I have labeled as the rule of four. Back in that early season period at Carrington in 2007, Mullenstein and Ronaldo worked on different goal scoring scenarios every day, but with one staple for each drill. It was four repetitions, move on, four repetitions, move on. His theory was, and this is probably something you can relate to, is that we are very focused for the very first repetition, a bit less in the second, and then we start seeing a gradual decline in our levels of focus. So why is this important then? Well, what he discovered through a long playing and coaching career was that after four repetitions, we start to lose our focus and the repetitions won't be as beneficial to us than if we instead rested and then went for four new ones. Because the quality of those reps you do after four will be less than the ones you do when you are rested and ready to go. And as we all know, quality beats quantity every time. How do we then implement this into our own training and when is the time to do it? So whenever you're out on the pitch or planning your session, start to think of your training as batches of four. If you're practicing your shooting, dribbling, passing or crossing, do the exercise for four repetitions without rest and with 100% focus and intensity. Then have a quick rest until you feel ready and focused to perform the next four. Now, not so quick. There are times when you maybe don't want to apply the rule of four. You always have to think about the context of your training and what your goals are with that specific training. If I, for example, train my dribbling, but I specifically want to improve my dribbling under fatigue when I'm tired, then maybe I have to do more than four reps to get those endurance benefits that you get from a lot of reps. The end goal here is to stay focused so that all of our repetitions are done with quality and focus because that is what will improve us the most. Try to implement this rule in your next training session and let me know what you think of it. Until then, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.